Good afternoon guys, it's Paul from EEA Group in Sydney. I uh, just wanted to take you for a quick walk around at the Case TV450B. So this TV450B, this is our 90 horsepower um, vertical lift track loader machine. So I'm just going to walk you from the back to the front. So vertical lift, so the actual pivot arms loader frame will come up and forward. So you can dump into the milli of your truck or your bogey tipper. Lift over about 3.2, 3.3 metres high, so it can dip into your dump into your high side of tippers as well. Down to your tracks, so 450 mil wide track frame, so it gives you great stability, um, less ground pressure on the machine on the on the ground as well. Um, lift capacity on the machine, so your road operating capacity is just over two ton. So pick up a pallet of bricks quite easily. Uh, just moving to the front. One thing you'll notice with the case track loader is the visibility. So it's got class leading visibility through the front windscreen, obviously the side windows and out the back as well too. Inside the cab, which I'll show you in a minute, has a nice rear view vision camera through the eight inch LCD screen, plus a rear view mirror as well too. So coming to the front of the machine, so on one side we've got our standard hydraulics. So the standard hydraulics runs at 91.5 litres a minute at about 3000 PSI. Also comes with a case train and electric cable outlet as well too. So all those other um, attachments that need a couple operations, you can actually sw switch them on the joysticks and operate them through your electronic outlet. For your um, higher flow attachments, the TV450B also comes with a high flow outlet. So on the high flow outlet, you're looking at 149 litres per minute. Perfect for your mulching forestry equipment, uh, road profilers, high flow slashes, mulches, those sort of attachments as well. On the TV450B2, comes standard out with a hydraulic coupler, which is just here. Um, has indicators when the attachment is locked or unlocked. And obviously we'll show you a bucket a little bit later. Um, you can spec them up with a loader style bucket, which is a high capacity four on four on one bucket, or just a standard. So your visibility to your edges is really good on your standard bucket. Um, great access into your cabin. So you obviously walk over the front of your bucket and you've got your two steps and your wide opening door into your cab itself as well. On the front of the machine as well, headlights and side working lights too, which is standard. Heavy duty rear door, don't have to worry about hitting that little sucker anymore and having to replace it. Getting into our back bonnet. So it's a Fiat powertrain. 90 horsepower, tier 4 final, nice and tight, east stop, dipstick, diesel fuel fill, hydraulic filler, and add blue tank as well. And very large radiator to keep the machine cool, especially running when those running those large attachments that need a lot of flow. So just close that back up again. And of course rear work lights and brake lights for your RTA jobs as well too. So get registration for this, this machine is easy. All right, now we're, now we're done with the engine, I'll just walk you straight back around to the front of the cab. Uh, the other thing is the undercarriage. So on the Case T TV450B, and like all the other Case track loaders, it's a fully rigid undercarriage. So the massive advantage of having a fully rigid undercarriage is obviously the cost involved in having suspension is not there. Um, you get direct drive, um, pushing into a pile of dirt, you get a lot more direct power. Also loading into a truck, you don't get the roll forward as you would if you had suspension on the machine. Um, and also with the air suspension seat, the ride's a lot smoother than it used to be. So a very good way of getting extra power, better lift capacity, and direct push into a pile. All right, we're just gonna jump into the cab. So you can probably see just from the outside of the machine itself, so it's, it's a large access area for the operator into a full air suspension seat, heated seats for those very cold mornings which we're getting at the moment. Full joystick control, we can actually change that from ISO pattern to EH pattern, which is a simple press of a button inside the cab itself. Serviceability wise, this whole cab will actually come up and forward. Um, I know Sammy can get the camera in there. There's a little uh, safety valve, safety lever just there, which is a red lever. And that safety latch just locks it in, holds it forward so you can get into the main hydraulic hoses and parts of the machine. 
The machine itself is lockable via the key. Once the machine is actually open, it's a keyless start and we can code the machine. So put a code in and you can start the machine or just keep it as a, a keyless start machine. Um, we'll just swap cameras now. I'm gonna jump in the cab and show you a little, few little features on the uh, LCD screen. So the first thing you see at the top is your hydraulic hitch, disengage and engage button, your rabbit, which is operated off your uh, joystick, you'll see there, rabbit or turtle for your speed. Um, that's just changing which operation you want in your joystick, depending on what sort of attachment you have. Uh, you can put your beacon on and off. Okay, this button here is a creep mode, and then there's, there's your high flow or high pressure. So the difference between high flow is obviously you're looking at your maximum flow litres per minute, which is about 149 litres a minute. And high pressure, the machine will go up to about 4,000 PSI. Ride control, self-level bucket, windscreen wipers, and there's your air con. So when operating the machine, this is your start. So we just turn that to start, turn those fans down and then just tick it over. Machine now is in start mode. Then to operate your hydraulics, that is your operate hydraulic. Um, rear view cameras at the top, and your RPM, diesel, hydraulic temperature, battery life, and oil temperature. Um, hours there, clock time, and rear view mirror. Reverse camera. Um, menu button which will take you through a whole heap of different choices on the machine. We'll just keep this quite basic. And these three items here is a way in which you can slow down or speed up your hydraulic function. One third or two thirds or full hydraulic capacity. So that's just gonna give you response through your joysticks and speed on the ground. Okay, so you, in your EZ control, which is your hydraulic control, you can see your speed of tilt, so your low, medium, medium two or high. So these one, two, three, four, five functions will make it easier for you to control the speed of your machine. From your speed of drive, speed of lift, speed of tilt, control, loader arm and drive. So you can actually speed them all up or slow them down depending on what operator you have. You can see that the 4-in-1 operation is there, open and close. You can actually lock in the hydraulics. So if you've got a broom or a mulch up, you can actually lock that on to what direction you want the, the attachment to run. Switch functions on both those buttons there. Park brake button if you need it, which is run through your safety lever anyway. So every time you lift up your safety lever, that park brake, park brake will come on your dash here. And just to disengage that park brake, you can either press your operator button or you can press your park brake brush button as well. Um, you got ride control or smooth ride. So if you're ru running long distance, you can hold that on there as well. All right, guys, that's just a very brief sort of um, run through on a Case TD450B, AM FM radio. Um, most of the machines we do one tier one civil, so that's E-stop internal, E-stop outside, UHF radio, quacker, battery isolator, and ready to go. So hopefully that helps. Um, beautiful machine, TV450 is coming to stock next month. Uh, they're our biggest track loader at the moment, which will be soon replaced by the TV620 coming out towards the end of the year. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day. Hope this was educational. Cheers.